So I play Annie Quainton, who is a woman a bit down on her luck. We meet her and she has just been um, ousted from her home by the bailiffs. And uh, she is a schoolmaster's wife. Her, her husband has died and it turns out he was in a lot of debt. So she has to travel across the moors to find a new life for herself and her two children. And that place is Jericho, and it's quite a shock for her. It's the ends of the earth. What does she call on to survive? What does she call on? Yeah, what personal reserves and... I mean, I, just watching that back, uh, she's incredibly resilient. And I think in times of adversity, I think you find it, it, it depends on your personality, but I think with Annie, you really find out who you are and she really finds out who she is. And she doesn't know whether she's gonna sink or swim. Um, so I don't even think she knows if she's got it in her yet. And I think that's, that's the line you've got to tread with, the, with the, that pre-credit story. And that's what you find out as the episode goes on, that she has got it, but then other things start to happen <laughs> that, we, that we will learn about. Let's talk about the series generally. What's different about Jericho from other period dramas? It's a completely original story. I've never seen this time and this place shown on television before, which is really unique these days because there are so many channels and so many shows. And I wasn't aware of it either. I wasn't aware that, that this, these shanty towns popped up in Yorkshire. So to be able to try and research them as much as I possibly could, it was difficult because it's very local knowledge. So actually being there helped a lot. Um, but, you know, people don't know about it. And the thrill of the story and the epic romance. Um, it's like a dream, really. It's a dream job for me anyway, because she goes through so much. Annie goes through so much and she changes and all of the characters are very mercurial and shifts of identity happen, are happening constantly with every single character. So I think that's really intriguing for an audience to go, where are they going? Where are these people going? And this town, is a character in itself, I suppose. It's new, it's lawless, anything goes. In Victorian society, that's remarkable. Interesting that um, uh, one of your colleagues uh, <clears throat> just mentioned that, that it was a shantytown, but the, you know, as the um, series developed, the um, shantytown developed in the same way that, the, yeah. that, that it would have yeah. happened. So did, did that kind of thing make it easier for you to find your character and to tell the story? Yeah, um, the environment really helped because, just because it does, you just absorb it. You're in the middle of these rolling hills, nothing for miles. Um, they had to tarpaulin down the buildings every evening after shooting because if they didn't, they'd probably blow away. And these are, you've, you've seen it, the huge, the wooden structures. I mean, it's wild up there. Uh, so, and we would just hold up when, um, when they were setting up a shot. We'd often, it was quite nice actually, we'd often be in Annie's house uh, with an electric fire and a cup of tea, all huddled around, and it's pretty, you know, <laughs> it's pretty rustic. Um, so so you, all of that helped. So you got to feel, uh, experience some of the hardship that yeah, people actually endured. Definitely, and it, it's silly the things that make you feel really part of it. But even walking through fields in those dresses and the corset and layers upon layers of of stuff and it's incredibly heavy so you're weighed down to begin with you're restricted and then you have to get across the moors and there are sort of these mole hills everywhere and little weird dips and you're constantly you know it, it just is a hard harsh environment to work in